Hello everyone. Today we are going to complete the table of values for tangent. If you want to know the if you want to see the videos on how to complete the table of values for sine and cosine, I will put the link of those videos in the description box below. These are the stuff that we need to do in order that we can complete this table of values for tangent. First, we need to have the formula for tangent. Please remember that there is another formula for tangent that we need to remember in this class. We have tangent theta is also equal to sine theta over cosine theta. So this is another way of writing the formula for tangent. Now let's have the proof to this. So let's see if this is really, is this really true? So let's take tangent theta is equal to um, sine. The formula for sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. So sine opposite over hypotenuse, cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Let's simplify this since this is a complex fraction. Uh, in complex fraction, we flip the bottom and multiply across. So this would come out opposite over hypotenuse times hypotenuse over adjacent. Flip the bottom, multiply across. So in here, we can already cross out the hypotenuse and the hypotenuse. So we're left with tangent theta is equal to opposite over adjacent, which is pretty similar to this equation. So these two equations are equivalent equations. Okay, so again, our target is to, uh, is to fill this in with values so that we can graph the parent, sketch the parent graph of tangent function. So let's start with this concept first. We, we did this in the previous video. Um, if we get the measures of the of these um, reference angles, we can get the measures for all, all of them. So that's the same thing also for um, tangent. So let's leave the zero and the 90. Uh, let's leave it blank for now. We'll go back to it. But we will have the uh, uh, the measures for 30 first. So to get the rounded value for 30, all we need to do is to use the calculator. So that is um, tangent 30 is equal to 0 0.577. So I'm going to write here 0 0.577. 0 0.577. Now let's let's have the exact value for tangent. So we're done with the rounded. We use the calculator for it. Now let's have the exact. So for the exact value of the uh, tangent here, again, tangent is, so we have tangent 30 equals opposite of 30 is 1 half over the adjacent of 30 is square root of 3 over 2. So it's a complex fraction. Again, flip the bottom, multiply across. So this is 1 over 2 times 2 over square root of 3. So this comes out 1 over square root of 3. Just a reminder, in math, this, the radical should not be in the denominator. So from here, we can multiply um, square root of 3 over square root of 3 so that we, can, we don't have a... Um, square root at the bottom. So this would come out 1 times square root of 3 is the square root of 3 over square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9, which is 3. So that is the square root of 3 over 3. So in this, uh, the value that we have for tangent 30 is square root of 3 over 3. Now let's check if the answers are the same. So I got the tangent of 30 and let's put in square root of 3 divided by 3 is the same value. So they are exactly the same value. Now let's have the 45. So to get the 45, we do the same thing. We use the special right triangle. So that's from the 45. So that would be tangent 45 equals opposite of 45 is square root of 2 over 2 divided by the adjacent is square root of 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. So this is a 1 and a 1. And we can also test this using the calculator. Tangent 45 is 1. Okay, now let's move on to tangent 60. So for 60, we're going to do it this way. So tangent 60 equals 60 is right here. 
opposite over adjacent. So that would be square root of 3 over 2 over the adjacent is 1 half. Remember, we are going to flip the bottom, multiply across. So square root of 3 over 2 times 2 over 1. So we cross these two out. So uh, tangent of 60 equals square root of 3. So this is the um, this is the exact uh, value, square root of 3. To get the rounded, we use the calculator. So let's see, that would be um, square root, uh, I mean, tangent um, 60 is this value, 1.732. 1 so this is 1.732. And then we set up the square root of 3. So square root of 3, it's exactly the same number. So they are a match. So let's go back to 0. So to do that, we're going to use a calculator for it. So that is tangent 0 is a 0. And so that's a 0 right there. Then we have 90. So tangent um, 90 is, oops, this tangent um, 90 is an error. So what do we mean by an error? Remember, we mentioned this in class. An error means there is an asymptote. So there is an asymptote at 90 degrees. Now let's determine some of them. Now, um, I actually have placed some negatives here. The purpose why I place negative because these values will have a negative tangent value. Now others are going to say, how did you get those negatives? And how do we know if that is a negative or that is a positive? So I have a, uh, another video that talks about the tips and tricks on how to determine whether a tangent is positive, whether a tangent is negative, including sine and cosine. So please check on the, uh, the, the link on the description box below. It talks about the tips and tricks on how to determine the sine of cosine, sine, and a tangent. So we already uh, have this um, um, uh, reference angles, and remember that all the rest of these will have, the uh, will have the same value. Now, I want you to figure out the rest of them. We jump into 210. So 210 is the same as 30. So if we got 30 here, so this should be, so 210 should be 0 0.577. And this is square root of 3 over 3. So that is for 210. And then let's have the last one, 315. So 315 is right here. So what I need to do is I go ahead and use the calculator since, oh, it's right here. So it's just right here. So 315. So 315 is the same thing as 45. So I put in a uh, negative one and the negative one right here. So your next task is to finish everything, all of these in edge elastic. And uh, once you determine the measures for all of these and graph it on x and y axis, it will give you the shape of a parent tangent graph. Okay, if you think this video is helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!